Hi, and welcome to the CA Technologies Continuous Delivery Demo Series. Today we will be showcasing CA Release Automation Continuous Delivery Edition and its integration to CA Agile Central. Driven by the adoption of continuous delivery and agile methodologies, the speed and frequency of software releases is increasing. Rapidly delivering business value to customers is key to creating a competitive edge in the market. Collaboration and communication between stakeholders is vital for successfully delivering new quality releases. CDE answers common questions such as, when will my features or fixes be delivered? What content is in this release? What other releases are in the pipeline and what do they contain? CA's Release Automation Continuous Delivery Edition provides a single big picture control point to plan, manage, and optimize the continuous delivery pipeline. CDE maps content to release deployments, defines all the components of a release through the application lifecycle, provides extensive calendaring, and a collaborative dashboard to help minimize miscommunication and increase collaboration between development and operations teams. CDE also integrates with ALM systems like CA Agile Central and JIRA to provide timely information about the release back to the development and product management teams. CA Agile Central, formerly Rally, is an enterprise-class platform built for scaling Agile development practices to deliver the right software with speed, quality, and efficiency. Development organizations use Agile Central to prioritize, plan, track, and improve development work. Release managers and operations then leverage the CDE integration to tie release content with business requirements while providing full visibility and governance to all stakeholders in the release cycle. Let's see how CDE and Agile Central truly bring DevOps to life. The release process, moving code from development to production, is a complex choreography of teams, tasks, and resources. CDE provides the flexibility required to meet these needs when designing releases. In the planning stage, the PM and development teams have decided what user stories and defects will be included as part of the release. As you can see here, we have two user stories defined in Agile Central and a defect in the defined state that will be included in our May release. Releases can consist of multiple phases, applications, and stakeholders. The release page shows all of our releases in the pipeline. Each release has the status, name, owner, applications, and version. So let's take a closer look at the May monthly release. This release maps to an Agile sprint with a cadence of one month. The May release will deploy two applications, Online Bill Pay 4.3, and Payment 3.0, which can be seen on the left. We have imported both user stories and defects for the application through our integration with Agile Central. We also have four phases defined, UAT, staging, production, and post-production. Each one is comprised of different tasks, either manual or automatic, that are required for the code to move to the next phase. The UAT phase has manual tasks for verifying the environment, testing, and notification. Automatic tasks are the actual deployments of the online bill pay and payment applications through the integration with release automation and updating Agile Central. The UAT phase has already started and is pending on the verification of the testing environment. This is a manual task owned by QA and we will now set it to done. Once it is complete, the online bill pay application will be deployed using release automation. We can see here that the online bill pay application has been deployed to the UAT environment. If we take a closer look at our deployment task, We will see on the right hand side that the deploy online bill pay task has been associated with the online bill pay 4.3 content. This is effectively mapping the content seen on the left hand side from Agile Central to this specific deployment. Now that our applications have both been deployed to the UAT environment, we will run our user acceptance and integration testing. 
Once that is complete, we will then update Agile Central. And now we can see our defect has been updated to the pending state. Now we've completed the UAT phase and the staging phase has automatically begun. There are two pending tasks that require attention from both the infrastructure and security teams. We'll go ahead and continue these tasks. We now have deployed our online bill pay and our payment applications to our staging environment. So now let's take a look at our reports. Through our reporting capabilities, the application report shows us that the online bill pay version 4.3 has been deployed to both UAT and staging and is scheduled to go to production on the 20th of May. We can also see the content in this release. We see here that the monthly May release included both user stories and a defect. And if we select them and add them to the report, we can see specifics. So for each individual user story or defect, we know exactly where in the pipeline it is. For example, our no audits for user access payment app has been deployed to our staging environment and is scheduled to be put into production on May 20th. These detailed reports give clear visibility into the content and progress of our release, answering the question, what features fixes are being delivered and when, and what is the specific content in our release? CA Release Automation is a proven end-to-end -end application release management solution and includes two distinct building blocks that work together to ignite and advance your continuous delivery practices. It is an integral part of CA's market-leading continuous delivery portfolio, which also includes Agile development, including CA Agile Central, and test management products. Thank you very much for watching.